And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. There's that nice cool night. We got a 50 to 55 tonight, but um, you can pretty much tack on about 20 degrees onto this by the time we get to early next week as the heat and the much higher humidity come in. You can see right here, new model run here. Again, this is uh, tomorrow and then Saturday. You see the spike in the humidity and the dew points late Saturday evening and then the humidity is pretty high right into Sunday. So these are the dew points you see 65 to 70 uh, getting into Sunday. But look at next week, you know, late Sunday and then right into Monday and Tuesday. These dew points are in the 70s, even one little spike above 75 degrees. So bottom line is this kind of humidity with temperatures in the 90s. I mean, it's going to be a shock to the system given how pleasant it's been. We've had two nice periods of, of uh, just perfect weather for August in the past couple of weeks. Tomorrow's an 85, 81 to 87 for highs. The humidity, uh, humidity, if I can spit that out, humidity, nice and low. 84 at Monticello, 82 at Logansport. We got the mid 80s down here to Attica and Williamsport and about 83 at Frankfurt. And of course, for the Friday night frenzy, looks dry. 82 at kickoff, and then we're going to drop into the mid to upper 70s at halftime. Again, still not overly muggy, but you'll start to feel more humidity, especially later on Saturday and right into Saturday evening as the south breeze continues. 65 in the morning, but we get ourselves an 89 degree high in the afternoon. Highs mid 80s east, and then you get into the upper 80s to as high as 91 as you go west and southwestward. There is future cast again. Some of these high clouds, few mid level clouds coming in tomorrow with a little bit of smoke at times. And it's the same thing for Friday night and early Saturday morning. In fact, we'll probably be partly cloudy early Saturday morning and then Saturday afternoon as the greater humidity, the moisture begins to come and will bubble up some of these fair weather little cumulus clouds around. Then we look at Sunday. It still looks like there's going to be a little cluster, or a little complex of storms on the periphery of the heat. It looks as if this is going to kind of blow up here. Minnesota, Iowa area may track Chicago, maybe over to southern Michigan and then kind of fades away. The trend is to keep it north and northeast of our area, but we will watch it. Now Monday, you can see the storm clusters. Again, they're right on the edge of the more intense heat. They're all north and northeast of us. Eventually, the ridge begins to break down or that dome of heat starts to break down a little bit. So we get some storms on Wednesday and then finally the cold front comes through with some storms by Thursday and it does get drier. It gets less humid. It's not going to be in the 70s, but we are going to cool back to the 80s for a while uh, the following weekend. Labor Day weekend that is 91 on Sunday and humid. We'll watch those storms up towards Chicago, southern Wisconsin, Iowa, Minnesota, southern Michigan. 95 Monday, all the storms are north and northeast. Same thing Tuesday, the way it looks right now. And then some storms Wednesday and perhaps into Thursday with temperatures up around 90 degrees. Again, remember with the high uh, dew points, these heat indices will exceed 100 and then it's a little cooler back to highs in the 80s on Labor Day weekend.